what is going on everybody this is jay from maji and jay today in this video we're going to be performing the intuitive benchmark test to compare which one is more powerful whether if it is the mtk 6755 or the mtk 6795 now the reason i have here the samsung galaxy s7 edge is not to compare with these two devices is most likely so that you guys can see what a flagship score really is all about in this case, I already tested in my Samsung Galaxy S7 and I got a score of about 111,000, which is absolutely stunning. And there are actually other scores that beat it uh, for the same device. The max that I saw was about 129,000 on YouTube, which is absolutely phenomenal. So yes, guys, I just had the doubt of which one is a little bit more powerful, whether it's going to be the MTK 6795 or the MTK 6755. And I want to confirm it together with you guys. So now with this being said, let me go ahead and open the application for each device, which is the Antutu benchmark test. But first of all, let's go ahead and confirm that all the tasks are killed. And right now I have about three applications on the Xiaomi. Let me go ahead and kill it. Let me go ahead and confirm the same thing here with the Elphone P9000. And I don't have anything on the background as you guys can tell. And then I will still test my Samsung Galaxy S7 here. This is the Edge model that I just got from T-Mobile. Let me go ahead and do exactly the same thing. Let me kill all my tasks. And there we go, guys. Everything has been killed on every single device. All of them have about the same battery. And also, all of them are connected to the Wi-Fi, as you guys can tell. So let me go ahead and start here by opening the application on the Galaxy S7. Uh, second, we're going to open it on the Elphone P9000. And that's the score that I was talking about, guys, which is absolutely great. Let me go ahead and select here, Allow. Uh, this is the P9000. I got a previous score of 45,000. You guys know that by now. And then finally, let's go here into the Antutu benchmark on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3, which is also a very outstanding device. Now here, this is the score that I already got based on the testing that I completed before this video, but I want to retest it so that way you guys can see it for yourself. Now let me go ahead and select cancel for now. And one, two, three. Here we go. Alrighty guys, so here we have the verdict between the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 and the Elphone P9000 for a lot of you guys who have the curiosity. Keep in mind that this one comes with 3GB of RAM, the Elphone comes with 4GB of RAM, and also the GPU on both of them are going to be different. On the Elphone we have the Mali A60 and on the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 we have the PowerVR G6200. Now a lot of you guys prefer this GPU because it's a lot better with gaming and also saves a lot of battery. But now on the other hand, the A60 on the Elphone P9000 is a little bit underpowered. I'm pretty sure guys that if this thing had maybe the Power VR G6200 like the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3, the Elphone would have beat it in every single way. But now then on the other hand, we know of course that the Samsung Galaxy S7 beats everything out of the way guys. As a matter of fact, when I checked here the rankings, uh, this is the top phone as we can see here on the scoring and the next one after it is the Huawei Mate 8. It's a pretty new phone that got released about two months ago and this thing guys just blew everything out of the way. I am truly impressed here with the Samsung Galaxy S7. Now the reason I performed the test is so that you can use it as a reference on what a score really is on a high-end device versus the mid-range devices. Now here in this case guys, we have to admit that the MTK6795 was a slightly better on the score, giving it 49,000. And on the Elphone P9000, it got 47,000. It's not really a big difference. I think they are performing about the same. Also keep in mind that this one has the Android Lollipop. This one is uh, Marshmallow and also we have Marshmallow on the Galaxy S7. So with this being said, please let me know what you guys think on the comment section below. Let me know which device you prefer the most. In my case, I really like the Elphone P9000 and considering that the score is not too different from each other. Uh, keep in mind that this one also comes with the Android Marshmallow versus Lollipop and we're not even sure if Xiaomi is going to release Lollipop for this device. So please guys, again, comment below. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on my next one.